Well, hey there. An issue may have occurred. Um. So, I ran out of space on the hard drive during the recording. First time that's happened. And, uh, I was like, how? I've literally recorded, like, a dozen or two videos of Project Zomboid before, and it was fine. It did not have any issue with, um, you know, space like that. And so I looked, and I saw that one video of Fallout London was 30 gigabytes. And I was like, okay, that's weird, because the Project Zomboid ones are like two gigabytes. So I looked at the settings in OBS, and I found that apparently I've been recording in 4K instead of 1080p, which is weird. And actually, I think the Zomboid ones are in 720, not 1080 as well. But whatever, I digress. Apparently, for some reason, it put that setting on OBS by default, even though I thought I, when I looked, I'm pretty sure that it was 7 from 1080, but whatever. Whatever, 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 whatever. Anyway, I uh, am currently uploading the first two of the Fallout Londons uh, to get those off of my hard drive. And then, uh, for now, I'm just recording onto my other hard drive, which has so much more space. And we'll see how large this video turns out to be. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Uh, gunfire was happening over here. Before we uh, go inside, maybe? How do I get inside the car park? Over here, okay. I see Syndicate Pimp. Too fast, I got five. Chill, Winston. Oh my god. I just got that now. It's, it's Winston Churchill. This is a reference. Is the other one a reference as well? I'm not paying attention. Let's kick some butt. I forgot to get a mod to increase the speed at which we uh, record. Or load, I should say. Load. Hey there, Smiley. Hold that thought. from it though. Apparently. And take it. I am okay. We're talking to this kid. Hey. Oi. You that fresh face gaunt mentioned. What's it to you? You trying to sound tough, sweetie? Well I've no time for that right now. We got hit hard just there, but we managed to kill or capture every attacker, except one. I noticed a scout hang back and leg it when things swung our way. If they bring him back up from the Isle of Dogs, we could be toast. I need you to stop them. They look to be beelining for the comm station north of here. I've got someone to trip the power on it remotely, but that'll only hold them so long. Go snuff out the hornet before it brings back the nest. The scout was a young lass. 
Denim fatigue, spiky hair. Should be easy to spot. Now go. If you need medical attention, I can take a look at you. But I can't do miracles. And wipe those questions off your tongue. We've got no time for that. Need help? Railway spine, I was a tree cache. I haven't felt right since. Can you help me? I can't say I've treated a survivor of a rail accident before. This'll be interesting. Oh my god, is that the is that the lower damage or like there. take damage? You were suffering from some kind of psychological distress, probably brought on by the crash. That remedy should do the trick. Just remember those breathing exercises. Nice. Which one was that? Also doesn't show up as a debuff anymore. Hey, hold on. Can I help you? Um. Oh, never mind. I'm not paying you. No, no, never mind. Rah. Goodbye. Actually, wait. If I ask for spare medical supplies, assistance. can I sell you stuff? Oh my god. I keep hitting enter. I might have what you're looking for. Yes, I can. Excellent. Okay. The lady. First of all, um, this nine millimeter sucks. Get it out of here. Board, get out of here. Box cutter, get it out of here. Revolver. Out of there. Scrope, rude trigger gun. Get that out of here. Here we get these shotguns. Push blades. Which one do I have favorited? That one? Okay. I'll get that one favorited then. Um I don't really use mines for those. Oh, that kind of pipe. Okay. I'm wondering where I that. Let's see. I guess I don't really need to meet and stuff anymore, do I? Although, it would be good to heal myself with, wouldn't it? Oh, crap, I just something else over there um 201 for one stim pack lady i may blind here i want to keep my junk but as for the rest of the aid like bourbon and hard cider <clears throat> Anything that I don't really need. Of course, most of my stuff is still in a uh, sack back at home. Actually, um, go ahead and accept that. All right, thank you, lady. What is this? Oh, it's trash. It looks like a rock. So, the lady who ran away. A new face. You sticking around? Is someone with spiky hair, but everyone else is in a suit and a nice outfit. Also, I don't know why I was expecting the Isle of Dogs to be like, uh, they would have like actual, like, armed soldiers and stuff. Not these just sharply dressed people. You know what I'm saying? Ah. 
height. Anyway. I'm not really sure who I feel like siding with. The knights could be a fun option since we're a meathead with melee. And they are Camelot knights, right? But there's also the people who are dressed nice. And the vagabonds are, you know, fine for now. Um, where the hell are we going? That way. Go get them. Was there always head bob when you ran? I remember it being like a little rapid of a head bob when we did you know fall out or normally. Knock knock lady, open up. I'm assuming he's gonna be like, hey, who are you? Don't, like, kill me. Join us instead. And I'll be like, hmm, I'll think about it. But she's gonna have to, like, really convince me, because our guy's dumb, remember? He's gonna be like, they told me kill. You must die. Stuff like that, right? By the way, there's no way in hell this, like, milk has uh, lasted long. It, it has to be like old, old milk. Can I get through this door? The classic stuff growing out of the toilet. Hey lady, why don't you like make the season yourself and just come out? Come someone. Kill you too badly. You'll only get bludgeoned to death, which is honestly a bad way to go. Ooh, makes your battery. Hey, lady. Yeah, really? You're an Isle of Dogs scout? You? Crackers. Other stuff. Oi. What do you want? Huh, I'm the Vagabond, surrender or die. She's not dressed like them at all. Some people just need a slap, oh. don't they? I'm actually killing her, okay. <laughs> oh, that was the thing. How's this denim jacket? That's the worst thing I got. I can take him to sell it, though. Honestly, I was expecting them to, you know, pull that usual, like... This is where we introduce you to the Isle of Dogs, so you can, you know, join them. Kind of thing. Introduce all the factions you potentially join. Now it's time to load. <laughs> Ma'am. Really need to figure out how to speed up these loading screens. Uh, I have it installed on my M2 drive as well, so. Uh, could you imagine how long the loading screens would be if you had a optical disk drive? Oof. That would be absolutely insane. Right, let's go back up the street. So I cannot take that moving. Ow. I'm expecting to get butt. Yeah. 
probably wasn't expecting the deer to have money on it, but okay. Mother wanted me to be a farmer, but I get my hands dirty in other ways. Mm. Bum, 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 loading screen simulator. Man, I cannot wait for the day that we have the technology to have no loading screens in games other than when you first load up the game. Jam the screw. Why'd that smarmy look off your face before I have one of my friends do it for you? What, you think we don't know this place is a dump? Pretty perceptive, that's exactly what I was thinking. Oh, bloody knew it. Look at the stones on this one, talking to me like that. Hey, the name's John the Screw. I'm the one in charge of fixing up this pub that you so clearly think you're better than. It's covered in trash, my guy. Literally covered in trash. Literally covered in trash. Yeah, bit of a dodgy nickname for someone like me, innit? Sebastian and the boys almost skimmed me alive when I first introduced myself. Thought I was a prison guard, they did. Vagabonds in prison go together like tea and marmite. Hard to blame them, I guess. But when I explained that they call me the screw because I'm handy with tools, we was right as rain. Why would they have mistaken him for a prison guard? Still doing a great job. Sod off, I'm doing my best. I got enough stress dealing with those hooligans at Bromley DIY. I don't need you coming in here spouting off with the cunty comments. You know what? That gives me a brilliant idea. How would you like to make a few tickets for a quick job? Do you have long eyelashes? I think everyone does, don't they? I love easy money. Well, the reason the swan still looks like the town tip isn't because I've been sitting on my ass doing nothing. We're up to our eyes in repairs and running low on supplies, fast. Typically, I'd send one of the leads down to Bromley DIY to pick up what we need. But the last time I did, a junkie blindsided him with the business end of a sledge. Now nobody wants to go near the place. But you seem like an odd sort. If you were to go take care of the hooligans down at the DIY so we could continue our work, I'd certainly make it worth your while. Aren't Jarl supposed to be like, I don't know, a gang? Like, you're literally a gang, right? But like, someone gets a sledgehammer to the head, and y'all are just like, yeah, let's not go over here anymore. I kind of suck. Where, where's it at? I'll go do it. Brilliant, mate. You're doing me a huge you favor. Suck. Bromley DIY is just up the road. You can't miss it. Although, for our guy, for all intents and purposes. You get them? He just likes doing what people told him. I stopped him, he should be safe. Good. You seem efficient. I like that. Gaunt said to give you some tickets for your troubles. Here. Speaking of, where is he? Thanks. Alvarea is the Swan and Mitre, the most ancient pub in the whole of London. Us vagabonds have had our home here for decades. Even through the toughest times. We have some other safe houses, but let's keep them ash for now. Follow me and I'll get you acquainted with our chiefs. It's not just a loss of men. We're Oops. hurting for ammo and other supplies. They keep hitting us like this. Look, look at all this wood you have on the ground. Fucking dogs. You can use that for a pair. Back. Come on, man. Right this minute. Easy now. Something stupid like that is exactly what they want to provoke. We've got to keep our heads. Sorry to interrupt, chaps. I brought that newcomer along. I've got no time for the detritus right now. Nelson, find something useful for this one to do. The rest of you, scrum! I need to go think. Never mind what Gaunt says, sweetie. He's a hard one, but he's been through a lot, and he bears a lot on his shoulders. He's got a big heart, really. He called me Detris and I don't like that. The Isle of Dogs Syndicate has hurt us all in different ways. Some have scars you can see, some have scars you don't see. Gaunt was hurt deep. I've got to go oh. now, but stick around, sweetie. We're good people when you get to know us. Oi, newcomer. I think I still hear you breathing over there. Come over here and we'll have a go. Blind ghoul. Needs to talk. Jill Winston said they fished you out some lab down the pinder. 
If I still had eyes, I'd say we're pulling the wool over him. But Gaunt backed him up, and he's not the fanciful type. Well, pleased to meet you, Wayfarer. My name's Blind Nelson. I'm Sebastian's right-hand man, and I was the same to his father back when he was the boss of the Vagabonds. I can't see no more, but I've been round the houses far longer than anyone else here, and my brain still ticks as good as ever. You don't sound much like a ghoul. I'm just gonna go past the ah oh, ghoul thing and just go so you're a commuter. Well, check out the eyes on this one. Yeah, there's a bunch of us commuters about. Something to do with radiation and whatnot. I never much cared why. I lost my skin to it back when I was young and I've stayed like this ever since. You get used to it. There are some what call us ghouls. Cheeky bastards. They're called commuters? I heard. Um... You need work? Feel free to ask around. We're always short-handed here and there. I've got a bit of work for you myself, in fact. What need? Simple fact is, my radio's broke, and I'm lost without it. Sebastian keeps me around for what brains I have, but without my radio, I'm deprived of some very necessary intel. I need someone with a pair of eyes and a pair of legs to fix it. You fit the bill, right? Here's the broken radio. Go find Chill Winston and ask him if he has any parts to fix it. Bullet Tooth Anthony is a workbench for when you got the bits. Bring it back here when it's all working smoothly and you're done. Easy, right? You realize I have no intelligence there. Er. Me do. Me go find. Bang. Hit radio with hammer. Repeatedly. What's your poison? Uh, I'll trade The times. usual. Two gentlemen of Verona. I don't know what that is. I'm not gonna mess around with that. No, not that. Give me that round back. More facts. That's gonna be the medex. <clears throat> Let's. Thought I picked up some alcohol. Did I not? Hmm. Real money. I can't have my junk. Pleasure doing business with you, sir. Enjoy. I don't like not being able to like just hit tab to exit. I like how he said he had to do work, but he's over here just drinking at the bar. Oi, oi. If it ain't that lab rat, the fuck you up? Lab rat again and all. Fuck your face with my ham sledgehammer. Dude, this place is like shit. Yeah. Uh, if we can choose a different team to be part of, um, we're doing that because this place. Uh, hello. Johnny it's because of this little beauty I've got lodged in my skull. A reward for some dodgy demolitions testing. But Makes that's sense. just how things go sometimes when you're a professional bomb maker. No pain, <laughs> no pain. Eh? Your vet says I need to get it taken out before it kills me. But I say nah. Makes me sharper, this does. Sometimes you need a little reminder that if you don't put your life on the line, then maybe you're not really living. And I'm sure there ain't no lead in it. Mostly sure. Okay. But it's gonna rust, my dude. What do you think about Sebastian? What are you asking for? Not some syndicate spy, are you? You keep your nose to yourself. You found me in a fucking lab, my dude. Right you know, up. I want to talk to you. Where's this prick I'm talking to? You there. Hello, mate. Nice to see you again. What can I do you for? What do you do? I'm quartermaster. I try to keep supplies topped up, keep things running smoothly. Not easy, you know. Okay, uh, radio stuff. Oh, hey, let's have a butcher's. Looks like he needs a new antenna. I'll have one in a box somewhere, I'm sure. But look, whilst I'm rooting around for that, I've got a job for you. 
One of my main suppliers is running late with a delivery, and she's never late. I'm worried something's gone wrong, but after the latest attack here, I can't leave my post to see. I want you to nip down to Nadia's on Deptford High Street to check in on things, and get me the package if it's ready. By the time you're back, I'll have the antenna for you. If you hang around, it wouldn't hurt none. We need the numbers. Alright, where is... Who's this guy in the blue shirt? Mickey? Alright, where's the, like, I guess only woman in this place? Where does she go? The lady. Wanted to sell you some more stuff? My mother wanted me to be a farmer, but I get my hands dirty in other ways. I heard that as a father instead of farmer there, and I was like, hmm. Weird. Anyway, I think we'll move. This uh, radio quest, and then we'll see what we want to do from there. Okay. Now then, do we have a level up yet? We're going south. Uh oh. Oh, nice. Okay, anyway. Enough messing around. Do a save quick, even though I didn't really need to since we uh, just came out of the building. But, you know, never hurts. Right? Another pup here. Do you suppose there's another, uh, poster in here? Give it a look, shall we? Never hurts to have more perk stuff, right? Thulu? Oh my god, I love it. No one ever feel it courses through your body as you pick up the doll. It feels oddly heavy in your hands. Oh no. And of course, it's a fan mod. Of course, they put like Dunwich Thulu stuff in the game, right? If it didn't, it'd be kind of disappointing. <laughs> Phases through the ground. Ooh, I can barely see the tickets sometimes. I 
seen a coaster yet. Okay, there's one upstairs. Back here, who knows? Oop. Oh, yeah. Cricket ball grenade. Nice. You know what would be really cool with all these, like, board games that Fallout has? If they actually designed a, a proper, like, game for the board game where you could play it with people in settlements, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? From those guy. Yeah, I think the worst thing I'm gonna find in here is rad roaches. So. Uh, is that a reference to clickers from uh, the last of us or whatever? Kind of neat that it is. There's a flower blooming on one side of his face, right? Really no coaster. Oh, there it is. Combat coaster. Increases your melee damage and bashing by 5%. This means we're up to what is it, like 15? A long sword? Oh my. Installed on some flooring and the stairs, and of course, I fell on them immediately. That's what's been cost cutting again. We got roaches, explosions, people screaming, lots really quiet. I'm still here though, the crappy building is still standing. Just about. That mold having a U in it threw me off so bad, but the mold that was never dealt with is growing into root mushrooms. I have to eat them. I'm running out of food, and the bugs are helping themselves to whatever's left. I swear, this thing's getting bigger. Okay, pest control is definitely not coming. Nobody is. Okay. Well, oh, let's check out my new sword. Oh, baby. Look at me, fucking King Arthur over here. Although I don't know if we should be holding a hand like that, sir. Considering we just have normal like cloth gloves. Oh yeah. Yeah. This will be nicely. Very, very nicely. All right, now we've got to wait for this thing to load up once again. go help well not help well we'll probably end up helping that girl or finding her dead to some raiders or something 
and then we'll deliver the package back, get the antenna, fix the radio. We should be good there. If it ever flashes. Oh, there we go. Where the hell we're we going? South. Right. South. Newspaper. Fire cigarettes. A Brahmin burger? That. A little bit moldy, but I'll take it. Food is food, after all. Right. I think it's 11 when you can get his idiot savant too, right? You could get sneak too. I'm not gonna trigger floor based traps. You mean like landmines? That's good. We could get rooted. Didn't I get big leagues before? Explore that another time. For right now, let's progress the main quest a little bit here. This is just a nice little touch, I feel, that they, uh, they put into the game. Being able to get on this and then also the um, semis. Find like a straight up shipment. I didn't know that's how that worked. I'm gonna have to look out for like little scraps of paper then on the ground. And stuff. Because who knows what'll be.
What's this? Blades. Ooh, an electric place. A backpack. I can put on a backpack. Nice. Does that like do anything for me? Increases my carry cost by forty-five. Excellent. I approve of that. Gun in your trunk. Model. Okay, let's 
not here. Some of them are money. Come on. Bro. They don't really have a way to do so. What? You're doing your hollow tape thing again, Stodholm. It's just a pastime, Popplestone. You know that. We can't be hunting rat rats all the time. We need hobbies too, you know. Our hobby is trying to survive out here, mate. Takes a minute, but they assemble themselves. Play Foundry. Awaits. All right, so looking at the uh, models here, we got a couple that are decent value-wise. Stealing those from. I have dog food addiction. How do you get addicted to dog food? What? That is not a thing that happens. get addicted to dog food. I'm sorry. It's not how that works. Hello, the bugs. I thought a skeleton was crawling across the ground, but it was just a lady like pushing into it. Could you imagine, though? Sweets? Hmm. How far do I have to get away from that? Why also put that in a corner? Why also did I like go up to it like I was gonna not die?
saw something in there. What the hell was that? I'm trying to see. <laughs> what were you saying? Oh, I couldn't hear you over the sound of your dying. Couple of them over there. Paranoid. Right now here. I have experience. Jesus. Thought you could hide. Hit me. Hit me. Just start to play here, right now. We're losing people. Yeah. Into the line. Oh. 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 Yeah. Don't hit me. I know. My body. How dare you, first of all? Still, the fact that they like basically instant kill me. Yeah. Oh, come on. In case the shotguns. It makes sense. Those guys are the ones that are uh, flapping my booty. One would say. That is not what one would say, but still. Ugh. Ugh. You run faster with your weapon holster. No way. All right, let's try this one more time. Who's there? I need you to die first, sir. And then I should be able to pivot. Yeah. <coughs> Run away. Okay, applesauce. Uh -oh, let's go ahead and eat the ramen burger. Keep dodging, keep dodging the weaving. Yeah. 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 Nothing. All right. Oof.
preparing as much as I can. I'll run. Well, we do have to eat a little bit, so let's go ahead and do that quick. Zero. Slow time for 10 seconds. Oh, looks so like a uh, jack. Yeah, you think? Mine's uh, faster, buddy. How much is a pure Q worth? And uh. before I uh, talk to her, anything good in here? I'm gonna guess not really. My mother wanted me to be a farmer, but I get my hands dirty in other ways. I mean, it looks like you are a farmer. Lady. Hello, hello. I guess I have you to thank. Those hooligans were ruining my lovely shop. <laughs> what a mess, what a mess. The supplies running late. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> Good old vagabonds looking after us measly shopkeepers. Us poor lowly dealers, subject to the whims and terrors of fate. We're very grateful, we are. Well, well, <laughs> I have that Winston fellow's package here. Take it to him, will ya? My usual runner got scared off and now I've got some clear up to do. Well, well, But well. listen here, I am grateful to you for helping out. You need some supplies? I will give you the best prices. All well, ethically you know. sourced, of course. Well then, lady. Looking for good deals? I have some stuff to sell you so I can continue looting. Quality goods at fair prices. Bum, bum. Yeah, I don't care what you have. Doesn't matter. Sell, sell, sell. Go. Take the Molotovs too. I don't need that. beer, any other alcohol or anything else that I can get addicted to, hard cider, probably get addicted to hero, so I'm not going to use it, I wonder if I can get addicted to a kid's meal, wouldn't that be some shit, getting addicted to a kid's meal, ugh, oh speaking of pink wafers, I tried some of those vanilla wafers I got, and they... We're not that great, to be honest. I mean, they're okay, but would I eat them just to eat them? No, not really. Not really. Easer? Is this a drug too? It doesn't give me anything like that wise. All right, let's see what she has quick. So far, I've only really seen crude weapons, but you know, makes sense. Child's renegade outfit. Hmm. Codfather? Sober. Here's all addictions. You know what? <sighs> but it's so much. 
Nope. Impacts are also way too much right now. You know what? I will take... Oh, never mind. Not for that much. You got any shipments, lady? Do. But nothing that I think I want to buy. Okay. You know what? Um, Give me back a beer and this box cutter. And I guess I'll take the grenades back. There we go. Thank you. Farewell. Bye-bye. All right. Didn't your mum teach you better? Didn't you learn to shut up? I love the cleared markers. Those are great. Okay. Well, since we can fast travel, we might as well go ahead and go back to the swan. And uh, turn in this quest. Or I guess a pair of quests. Although technically, like... Yeah. I guess the thing we're doing now isn't really a quest. It's a, uh, I'll do this so you can give me that, so that I can finish a quest. Loading screen. Look where you're going. Okay. Into the next. Oh, you vey! Another loading screen. No, no, no. Delivery then. Thanks for that. And I'm glad Nadia's okay. She's one of my sharpest suppliers. I found the path for the radio you were after. Uh, Here you are. If you need a workbench to fix it, check with Bullet Tooth Anthony. He's usually down the basement. Exactly how much experience did I just get for that? Because that looked like a lot of numbers right there. If you hang round, wouldn't hurt none. We need the numbers. British laser skeleton stock. Mm. Oi, get your mitts off that. I'm in the middle of fixing something there, and I don't want you ruining it. Who are you talking about? Hello, to? sunshine. The name's Bullet Tooth Anthony. What you after? I am looking for... No repair. chance, Sunshine. I'm trying to fix up an old laser rifle I found, and it's laid out in a hundred pieces I'm right now. You. you dare mess that up, and I'll have your head off. But look, you find me a piece to replace an old crystalline photon agitator, and I'll be able to finish it off. A convenient and to have the workbench is all yours. I got one. Ah, lovely jubbly. Give it here, and I can get it cleared up. Here we are. A fully restored Upton Burke Class C laser rifle. Ain't it a beaut? Absolute like shite that keeps breaking after ten shots, mind. But it'll bugger up anything it hits before then. Now, you had some gizmo you wanted patched up. And it here, and I'll sort it for you. Let's see. Out with the old, in with the new... I can tidy these frayed wires, too. This is quite the old bit of junk Nelson's hanging on to. Well, it's all fixed. But it looks like the battery is knackered. I've got none of the right sort here, but Johnny Shrapnel should have him in spades. 
He's usually hanging out back by the camp station. More bodies getting shite done never hurt anything. You know. He's, uh, go talk to these people. All right, geezer. What can I do for you? I need a battery to fix up this freak. Good help, thing. sure. But I've got my own problems to worry about. Oh, my God. Listen, give me an hand with something delicate, and I'll see what I can sort for you. Mickey's been having a barney at me for blowing up his hat. And yes, yes, I did blow up his hat. And don't you mind how or why. But at the end of the day, it's just some damn cloth. Right? Well, fancy pants Mickey don't see it that way. And I can't keep going on with him giving me the evil yeah, eye all day. He's freaking me the fuck out. So I found him something to make up for things. But if I go trying to give it to him myself, I just know I'll say something stupid and ruin it. Why don't you go have a go at delivering it for me? Make him accept the damned apology and I can sort you out with a new battery. My mother wanted me to be a father. Hello, go Mickey. My, my name's Mickey. Can I help you with something? Yeah, that guy in there? Want me to give you this, like, shitty hat? So that shrapnel brain pillock thinks he can just fund me with some token. That was my favorite hat he ruined. Tell him to fuck off. Look, man, I agree. I'm gonna go endurance. I guess you're all about that. Maybe I'm being too mean on shrapnel. I'll accept the apology then. Cheers, Gov. If you hang around, it wouldn't hurt none. Honestly, it'd be nice numbers. if I could just be like, yo, just... Hey there, you? young'un. Not from these ends, are you? My name's Sid. Though the boys here call me Sabretooth. I'm looking for a little help with something. I can make it worth your while. What you got, sir? Listen here. I'm only telling you this as you're an outsider. But I'm no good with my letters, see? My ma always wanted me to learn them. But my dad said it would make me weak in the head. Well, I'm getting old now. And I've had my share of adventures, but my one big regret is never learning how to read proper. Maybe now I can finally play catch up, but I don't want the boys here knowing about this. That's why I'm looking for help from someone like you. I've got a little something special for you. If you can get me the goods I need. You in? Can't read it at all. Wow. Is it gonna help? Um. I can help you, sure. Thing is, there's bug rules to read around here. Some old menus and magazines, but no proper books. And I need me some books if I want to learn proper reading. You ever hear of a library? Used to be loads of them before the war, all full of books. They're mostly ruined now. But there's a few still about. There's one not far from here, in fact. What do you want? Simple enough. But mine for the ghouls about. Get me three or four books and decent nick. And I'll give you something special in return. I think you Nothing too hard. Kid stuff, even. I need to start out simple. If you can find it, there's a little story called Dove's Dilemma I remember from when I was young. It'd be nice to see you again. Alrighty. We'll get you smart in no time. Thanks. How is he going to start reading books? He doesn't even know the letters yet. Hey, you get Mickey to take the gift? Yes, he said he Smashing. I wasn't sure how that would go. I'm glad he didn't try to kill you. Now, you I? wanted a battery for that radio. Give it here, and I'll see what I've got. Blimey, this is old. Where do you even get something as taunty as this? I'll have to wire up a couple of nine volts to get this to work. Uh, let's see. Here you go. All done. And thanks once more for your help with Mickey. He's getting shot done Allison, I got you. Where is the lady at? There's more stuff to sell. You want the radio done up? You took your damn time about it. Where'd you go to fix it? As a buy on? Well, better late than never, I guess. Cheers. Don't know what I'd do without this. Now, let's have a listen to what's happening out in the smoke. Out in the smoke. Good there, sir. Make sure.
sure you're all on high alert. The execution of the Vagabond prisoner will take place in Indiscan Square in Millwall. We're expecting a massive crowd, so we need all hands on deck. If you're IODS in Millwall, be there. We're going to send a message to these two-bit punks. Nobody bombs a syndicate train station and gets away with it. Oh, for fuck's sake, turn that damn thing off! Why'd you even bring me this stupid radio anyway? You were just trying to upset me, weren't you? Well, I'm gonna, I'm Where's Yvette? Yeah. She's the one who vouched for you. I'm gonna give her a piece of my mind. Yeah, good question, where is she? Oh shit, that's right. God damn it! Oh, that explains it. We're done here? Piss off! Wait, actually come back. Hey, listen, mate. Sorry I lost it on you a second ago. Y you did good with the radio. I need you to do something else for me now. Something much more important. What job? A rescue of sorts. I need you to go to Millwall and make sure Yvette hasn't done anything too stupid. And if she has, I need you to unfuck the situation. She's got roots there. And you don't need to be Sherlock fucking Holmes to figure out she's gonna make sure that poor soul headed to the hangman isn't one of her people. Bring Yvette back in one piece and I'll make it worth your while. Okay. Brilliant. Head north to Millwall and don't come back until you find Yvette. Tell her blind Nelson's looking for her. The fastest route across the Thames is through the Greenwich foot tunnel. Why you still have money? What's your poison? The usual. Not really, huh? Do you have enough so I can sell you some stuff, though? Please? That's fine. Take it. Thank you. Enjoy. Excellent. Alright, well... Ladies and gents, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick save. I think that'll be all for now. We will wrap things up. And go from there. But uh yeah, so for now, I think what we'll do is go try to rescue Yvette or whatever the hell she's at. And kinda go from there. We didn't level up again or anything, did we? Oh we did, actually. So before we continue onward, let's take a look at that. Get rooted. We get strung back. Oh, I move a lot when I attack, don't I? I don't know if it's worth getting that right now. We could get confirmed bachelor. That way we would uh, be able to kill people a little bit quicker, especially guys. And you know, we might as well. That way we can just bonk them off the head. Yeah, that'll be all of them. So uh, next time we're going to try and help out Yvette, or at least fumble around and get some stuff. Until then, bye for now.